it is also a night of grieving and mourning. It is Laylatul Musiba, Laylatul Aza in the house of the Ahlul Bayt. When you ask why do we cry for Ali in the month of Ramadan, when this is a night of ibadah, then you should know that this is the sunnah of the Prophet. Because even in his khutbah, in which the Messenger of Allah, peace be on him and his family, gave to people on the first night of Ramadan, when he completed his khutbah, Amir al muminin alayhi salam stood up and said, Ya Rasulullah, ayyul afdal a'mal fi hadhi shahr which is the best a'mal to perform in this month. And the Messenger of Allah said, to keep away from that which Allah has forbidden is the best thing that one can perform in this night. And then the Messenger of Allah began crying. And Amir al muminin said to him, Ya Rasulullah, why is it that you cry? And the Messenger of Allah said, Ya Ali, it is in this month that your beard will be colored with the blood of your forehead. I cry when I think of the suffering that you will undergo after me. So crying for Ali in the month of Ramadan is the sunnah of the Prophet. And it is something that all Muslims should engage in. The person that we lose tonight is not an ordinary person. Because the Messenger of Allah said, Ana wa Aliyun abawai hadhi al ummah. I and Ali are the two fathers of this nation. So on this night, everyone who considers himself to be a true Muslim becomes an orphan. He is a man that was special to Allah and his messenger in so many ways that the Quran bears witness to it. Shia and Sunni scholars have quoted and said, there is not a verse in the Quran in which Allah says, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu, in which the verse is in a positive context, except that Ali is one of them and the foremost of them. And not only Shia, but Sunni scholars have compiled books and books on where Ali has been referred to in the Qur'an. And some have quoted over 300 verses of the Qur'an in the Fadail of Ali ibn Abi Talib. If Allah says, اِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ mustaqim," Then Ali is Sirat al-Mustaqeem. If there is any great news, Nabahul Azim, it is Ali ibn Abi Talib. Because this is a man who had surrendered completely to Allah. He had sold his self to Allah for the pleasure of Allah. And amongst men, there is one who sells his self for the pleasure of Allah. If Allah was to reveal the ayat of Mubahala, then Ali is the nafs of the Prophet. تَعَالَوْ نَدُوا أَبْنَاءَنَا وَأَبْنَاءَكُمْ When he says, أَنفُسَنَا وَأَنفُسَكُمْ He is the nafs of Rasulullah. If Allah was to reveal the ayat of Tathir, then Ali is one of those whom Allah has purified thoroughly from all sorts of impurities. We lose a man tonight who if Allah was to declare those with authority and guardianship, then he declares himself, his messenger, and Ali. إِنَّمَا وَلِيُّكُمُ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولَهُ Your wali is Allah and his messenger. And who else? And the one who gives zakat while in ruku. zakat If Allah declares the ulil amr, then again it is Allah and His Messenger and Ali. Ati Allah wa ati Rasul. Wa ulil amr minkum. Obey Allah and obey His Messenger and obey the ulil amr amongst you, which is none other than Ali ibn Abi Talib. So the Qur'an keeps singing the praise of Ali again and again. Allah loves Ali ibn Abi Talib so much that when he calls his beloved Prophet for Mi'raj, he speaks to him in the voice of Ali. كَلَّمَنِي اللَّهُ بِلَّهْجَةِ عَلِي يُبْنَ أَبِي طالب. If Ali gets four dirhams, what is four dirhams? And he spends it in charity. One in the morning and one in the night, one in secret and one in public. Allah wants to praise that. الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّهَارِ سِرًّا وَعَلَانِيَةً Ask the Mufassirin, who is this person who gives charity in the day and in the night and in open and in secret? 
So at every stage we see that Allah wants to praise him. If Allah says, إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مُنْذِرٌ وَلِكُلِّ قَوْمٍ هَاد O Muhammad, you are but a warner, and for every nation there is a guide. Then the Messenger of Allah bears witness and says, Ya Ali, Ana Munzirun wa anta ya Ali al Hadi. I am the warner and you Ali are the guide. Wabika Yahtadil Muhtaduna min Ba'di. And it is only through you, O Ali, that people will be guided after me. Indeed, we lose a man. In Allah's eyes, if he was there to bear witness to the risala of Rasulullah, then there was no need for any other human being to bear witness. If the whole world stood on one side and said to the Prophet, you are not his messenger, but Ali stood and bore witness, it was sufficient for Allah. وَيَقُولُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَسْتَ مُرْسَلَ Those who disbelieve say to you, O Muhammad, you are not a messenger. قُلْ Tell them. كَفَى بِاللَّهِ شَهِيدًا بَيْنِي وَبَيْنَكُمْ وَمَنْ عِنْدَهُ عِلْمُ الْكِتَابِ Tell them, O Muhammad, Allah is sufficient as a witness between me and you. And he also is sufficient who has the knowledge of the book. Now go and read tafsir and see. There is nobody else except Ali ibn Abi Talib who has ilm al-kitab. We lose a man for whom Allah was not pleased with Islam as a religion and refused to say it is complete until his authority had been declared once more. And he tells his messenger, بَلِّغْ مَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ Tell the people what has been revealed to you. And if you do not, O Muhammad, then you have not delivered anything. And it is only when the messenger of Allah says, مَنْ كُنْتُ مَوْلَاهُ فَهَذَا عَلِيٌّ مَوْلَاهُ اللَّهُمَ وَالِي مَنْ وَالَاهُ وَعَادِ مَنْ عَادَاهُ وَانْصُرْ مَنْ نَصَرَهُ وَاخْذُلْ مَنْ خَذَلَهُ O people, whosoever considers me to be his master, then this Ali is his master. Then and only then Allah says, الْيَوْمَ أَكْمَلْتُ لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ This day have I perfected for you your religion. Why? Because Ali has been declared Mawla now in public. وَأَتْمَمْتُ عَلَيْكُمْ نِعْمَتِهِ And now I have completed my favors on you. وَرَضِيْتُ لَكُمُ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينَ and now I am pleased with Islam as a religion for you. And if anybody stands up then and says, Ya Rasulullah, did you declare him your successor because he is your son-in-law and your cousin? Or did Allah tell you to declare him? And if he invokes the curse of Allah, then immediately a stone falls from the heavens and kills him. Sa'ala sa'ilum bi'adabin waqi. That means when it comes to Ali, Allah has zero tolerance. You deny Ali his rights, he will punish you in this world. He will not even wait for the hereafter. And again and again, and this is what created the hatred for Ali. This is what created the jealousies. One was the fact that he killed the enemies of Islam amongst the leaders of the chief Arab tribes in Badr and Hunayn and Khaybar and Khandak and Uhud. And the other was the jealousy of seeing that Allah would not compromise when it comes to Ali. He orders his messenger. All these people who have built their homes attached to the mosque and built doors that come into Masjid al-Nabawi, shut all their doors except the door of Ali. And the messenger of Allah gave an order. Seal all the doors. No one should have a door coming into the mosque, except I and Ali. Some of the most eminent companions and people around the Prophet came and complained about this. Ya Rasulullah, Ali is just a young man. You leave his door open because he is your cousin or your son-in-law, and you shut our door. He says, I did not shut his door. I did not shut your doors, nor did I leave his door open. Allah shut your doors, and he left Ali's door open. But they still have this waswasa. Was it really from Allah? So they go for salat. 
As soon as they go for salat, Allah reveals to His Messenger. وَالنَّجْمِ إِذَا هَوَى I swear by the star when it falls. مَا ضَلَّ صَاحِبُكُمْ وَمَا غَوَى This companion of yours, meaning the Prophet, neither has he made a mistake nor has he gone astray. وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَى إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَى He does not say a word out of his own desire. It is all, it is but what we inspire him to say. So whenever people had doubt about Ali, Allah would come in and clarify the matter. There is no limit to the fadail of Ali. Quran, Hadith. Ya Ali, anta qasimul jannati wa nar. The Messenger of Allah said to him, Oh Ali, it is you who will divide people between heaven and hell. You are one of those rijalun ala al-a'raf. There is not a Muslim who will go to heaven without the permission of Ali. And we can prove this from Hadith. And from Quran as well. وَقِفُوهُمْ إِنَّهُمْ مَسْؤُولُونَ The Qur'an says. There are people who will go marching to heaven. Huh? We are on our way. They, it will be said, stop them. They must be questioned. What will be the question about? Rasulullah says, Abu Bakr ibn Mardawi, a famous Sunni scholar, quotes this hadith, ayat of Qur'an and he gives his tafsir. He says, the messenger of Allah said they will be questioned about the wilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib. So we lose a man for whom even the sun would return. We lose a man for whom Allah, the Messenger of Allah used, used to say, another ila wajhi Ali ibn Abi Talib, ibadah. They used to be companions who used to just sit and gaze at the face of Ali. Looking at Ali is ibadah. Just looking at him. Aliyun ma al haq, wal haq ma Ali. Ali is with the truth. And the truth is with Ali. And then the Messenger of Allah would pray. Allahumma adir al haqq haythu dara Ali. O oh Allah, turn truth wherever Ali turns. Turn, turn truth where Ali turns. Not turn Ali where truth turns. O oh Ali, you are to me as Harun was to Musa. I am the city of knowledge and Ali is its gate. One after another. أنا وعلي من شجرة واحدة والناس من شجرة شطاء. And we see that in this Ali there is this zeal for Islam. From the time he is born, he is dedicated to Islam. He is at the forefront of everything. There is not a battle that is fought except the cause of the victory after Allah and His Messenger is Ali. When the Messenger of Allah wants anyone to represent him as his ambassador, it is Ali. If the Messenger of Allah goes for Hijrah, Ali is the one who looks after the property with the Prophet. If the Messenger of Allah wants to send the verses of Surah Al-Bara'ah to the, to the Kuffar and Munafiqeen, Ali bin Abi Talib. Even if he sends somebody else, Allah reveals, send Ali, call the other person back. 